Hello to all of you dear ones. I hope you are well. In some previous videos, I explained how this home power plant works. Well, this power plant needs gas to stay active at night. And I know that there is no gas in some areas and maybe gas is extremely expensive. But here I want to propose a method that we can produce gas ourselves. This method will be very simple and cheap. We need two solar dishes for this, a solar dish to start the power plant and a solar dish to use to make gas. I posted a video on the channel before and it is related to the same method. Of course, gas production in this video was not very successful, but the method will be the same. Let's watch the video summary together. Here I have a tree branch that is relatively dry and I want to use its drier leaves to make gas. So I separate its leaves. I removed the leaves from the branch. But the wood of this branch was not very dry, but you can also use wood chips in this method. Now we pour all the leaves into this tank. This tank has an outlet pipe that continues from the inside to the top of the tank. You can see that the tank is full of dried leaves. Now I close the lid of the tank. Because of the high temperature, I have used fireproof cotton fabric. Now the pipe that is connected to the tank has come down. This tube is inserted directly into this glass container. I pour some water in this glass container to absorb the tar and moisture. The tank has not heated up well yet, but you can see the evaporated water in the tube, of course, this water is highly toxic because it contains ethanol and other substances. The end of the pipe is in the water. Ten minutes have passed and you can see that the glass container is full of smoke and humidity. Now let's see if we can light the torch. But it seems that the outlet still has water vapor, which prevents the burner from turning on. What a bad thing happened, the gas comes out from the sides of the tank cover and I think most of the gas comes out from the sides of the fireproof cloth. If I measure the temperature of the tank, you will see that it is above 300 degrees Celsius. Now, an hour has passed since the start of the work, and even though gas is coming out from around the tank cap, the color of the water has become like this. The gas coming out from the side of the tank cap is burning and I think 90% of the gas comes out from here. The glass container is still full of white smoke. Now we will try once more to see if the gas comes out of the pipe or not. Yes, it turned on this time and you see the color of the flame. Of course, if the tank did not leak, the flame would have been much bigger. 
Of course, due to the leakage of the gas tank, it burns with low pressure and almost incompletely. Well, now we open the tank to see what happened to the leaves. You can see that the flames from the tank have blackened the lid. The temperature of burnt leaves is very high and will catch fire with a spark. So our job is incomplete and the leaves still have usable gas. You saw the video. In this video, the work was not very successful because the right reservoir was not used. And because of this, most of the gas was coming out of the tank cap. Therefore, if we use a suitable tank for this purpose, we can store the gas in another tank with a suitable pressure. Using a large solar dish makes it easier. The smaller the wood or leaves are and the less moisture they have, the faster the gas will be produced. Gas production is very simple with this method and we can produce gas whenever the sun is. This gas can be used for stoves, water heaters, and other appliances, of course, the goal is to provide gas to run this power plant when there is no sun. I hope this method was interesting for you. If you have any questions, write in the comments. Bye until the next program.